Hello my crafty friends, it's Crystal with Happy to Plan. I am going to be doing some work in my wings journal from Triply Chic today. And what I decided to do today, so let me just kind of get a little organized here. So basically, if you didn't see the last video um, that I posted last Friday about what I'm doing with this journal is I decided to um, make them like, make each of the different pages like portfolios. So eat like I have um, eight different little like sections in the book that are basically like little fold out portfolio things. And um, what I want to do today is I want to kind of organize my supplies into like different like categories. So for like this one, for instance, like I want to kind of do more of like a vintage feel because it's got this paper that's really... Um, uh, tea dyed and kind of oldy, old fashioned looking. And so I want to do like more of a vintage feel here. I want to do kind of like black, maybe some vintage, like kind of some tea dyed paper in this one. Um, and then I want to do one that's like really bird themed. And then like, I just have a couple of different, and I want to do one that's like gold. So, um, cause I do want to bring in some gold elements into the book. So um, what I thought I would do, what I want to do in this video is um, kind of pull out my stash and kind of look at the different components that I have and kind of put them into like different categories to kind of organize myself. Um, hopefully this won't take too long and I can kind of work on the actual pages in this book. I mean in this one, but we'll see. So like this is more kind of like just regular. This I have some tea dyed ones here. Um, I kind of want to put all my black kind of stuff together to, um, cause I do have two of the ones that are like black. So this has got some gold in it. I've got some brown pieces here. So I'm kind of just going to organize the different components and kind of see how I can use them in the different things. I have these cute little like pocket things that I got at, I believe I got those from Recollections a while ago from Michaels. Um, so I have a bunch of gold stuff here. So maybe I can even do a couple of different gold. I want to probably mix in some elements. So I don't want it to be all black and all like that stuff. So I want it to mix in some elements, but then I found, I pulled these, the wing of the W and the B out for of my little flashcard set that I have from Tim Holtz. I pulled those out to use some browns. I also pulled this out. This was from um, one of my friends here on YouTube. She sent me a little friend mail and um, made me this this really cool um, card. Uh, what is it called? tag. There we go. And I want to definitely use this in there. Um, here's another gold element. Um, maybe some more like tea dyed stuff. And then I do want to do like pockets and stuff in each of them. So I definitely want to like have like glossing bags. Um, I could put that in the bird one. Then of course I have all of these like cute little journaling cards and stuff that I can use. That one, I love that. Maybe I could do that in, like a brown one. I need eight, so one, two, three, four, five, six. But I have two black ones, so I could need to pull two of those. Here's some more little things I got from an Etsy shop. Um, maybe I can do something like in the green family that kind of all matches. Maybe that can go over there. This I feel like is too, maybe a little tartoony, but it does have the gold in it. So let me put it in that, that spot. Okay. So that's a kind of all of my smaller pieces. I 
do have this really cool, um, it's like a weeded paper. I don't even really know how to explain it, but it's got some texture on it. I'm pretty sure I got this from an artsy, like journaling pack thing. So maybe it'll look with that. It'd probably look good with this little set here. Yeah, I'm kind of liking that. So now if I work with kind of some of the bigger elements, I have this two birdie things I could work with. Oh, that would look good with this. This is kind of coming together. It's kind of like a green kind of theme. That might not work with that now. Okay, I'm liking how that's looking. And then actually I can maybe put these feathers in that one. Those feathers came with the collection. Um, I definitely want to use the tassels, but I have a, I think I have a plan for the tassels. Um, I've got these cards, these little tickets. These are ones from like leftover cheaply chic ones. I don't know if I'll use the blue ones. I do like that color too. I don't know which color works better. So I'll just add both of those in there. And then I have a bunch of like little die cuts and stuff. Sometimes I like to do, do it this way because I kind of feel like all of the pieces are a little bit overwhelming sometimes. So it's like if I feel like if I kind of organize it a little bit better, it makes it a little bit easier. Kind of like that with that. Oh, that one look cute with that. I love when things just kind of fall into place. Okay, so I've got quite a few like little birdie images. So I really want to have a lot of bird elements in this. So I feel like that kind of goes with that. Or even that one. I like the blue. Maybe I could do like a blue in this element. And then maybe I can pull in some yellow. Or even the green too. Like that could be kind of the color scheme. This one's got some red in it. So maybe I can pull some red. Oh, where's that little red leaf? I mean, that would look good. So I can pull red in here. Um, maybe this needs to go in this one. I don't know, I feel like I need something over here. So maybe that's good there. I kind of like that this has the black in it, so maybe I can pull in some blues there. Um, this, got, this has black in it too. This is a little pouch thing. And I actually have some blue ones too, like this, I could pull out. Oh, I kind of like how that looks. But I really want this to kind of be the focal point. I'm actually kind of liking that, that together. And I have this little thing that says Free Spirit. Kind of liking it with that one, okay. I don't know if I'll use this little wood veneer, but that does have a cage, so I'll put that with that. I mean, I don't know if I'm going to use all this stuff with all of it. Oh, that's got some red in it. That'll work. And then this has got blue. And these are all kind of just black and white. So I think I'll put all of these with the black and white stuff. There's a gold element. This one... I like it with that. That's got some pink. I haven't really pulled. Well, that one has a little bit of pink in that. Maybe I can put that with that. Um, I kind of like how the oranges match with this one. And then it has a lot of green in it, too. And then this little guy. 
kind of like that with that. I do have some of these little, these are just things I found in my stash. So I might want to add some black into different elements just to kind of add the black everywhere. And I kind of do want to add some gold in each of the different pages. Um, this actually works with that one. Okay, so then I do have these little cards that came in this set in the collection. The brown would probably look good with either one of these. I don't really have a lot of that one. Not really loving the red. So maybe I'll put the red over here and put this one over here. And that could potentially work with this, possibly. That one's getting a little colorful for my taste. Okay, and then I have these pieces, but they also have this on the back. I think I'll just keep these out for a different element. So then I also have these little feathers that came with it. Maybe add them over here. And then I have a whole thing of my own feathers. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get some glossing bags and like put all these into different Okay, so now that I've got all of that done, I want to now um, kind of concentrate on the front cover and get this part done so then I have that done. And then I'll probably end up doing the middle section as well and then um, then start working on the actual portfolios themselves in the, in the next video. So let's get the front cover done and then I already have an idea of what it's gonna look like. I kind of already planned it out. So I have this really cool like lace piece. This was a headband from the Dollar Tree. So it had a piece of um, elastic on it. And I just thought it was really super pretty. And I love that it kind of reminds me of feathers. It kind of has that element of feathers. So what I was thinking about doing, and I feel like I need to, yeah, see that's why I want to do the front cover because this is already getting really bulky. Um, so, what I want to do is I think I'm going to, I'm going to put this here. I'm already, I put this in the last video that I put this in here and it's, it's way too, it's way too long for me. I am going to end up gluing this down <laughs> um, because it's, it's just sticking out way too much and it's really annoying me. <laughs> so um, I will end up doing that in a different video. Okay. So let's go ahead and um, I'm just going to put this here. And then I have this really cool flower that I got in friend mail or I might have bought at the expo. I'm not sure. I think I got it in friend mail actually. I'm fairly certain I got it in friend mail. I kind of want to put this in this corner up here. Um, I, like, I just wanted to kind of pull in some of the gold foil on this side. It kind of has an orange hint to it. It's like a copper color um, foil. So I thought that kind of worked. And then I want to, this flower is going to bulk up the book quite a bit. So I don't really like that idea, but I don't know. I really like it. <laughs> um, and then I have these like little pocket things. I also think I got in friend mail. So I'm going to put this here and then I'm going to put this here. And then I've got a couple of little uh, birdie elements that I thought I could use. Like I was thinking maybe of like putting this one here. I was actually thinking maybe I'll put this one here and then put this little small one at the top. Okay, so I have some stuff in here. Okay, so I pulled these, I, so I found this one and then I pulled these out just to maybe add some orange over here to kind of balance out the orange. So I'm going to hold on to those for this area. Okay, so then I'm going to put this here in this little pocket. And I really just want that little 
touch of green to pop out. I don't really want a lot on there. And then, yeah, and so I just want to do maybe, maybe I can just do it this way, yeah. I'll just do it that way. So I do want to add a little pull thing here. So let's look at the fibers. I could put some black in there. I think I'm going to use the gold though. Yeah. So let's just add a little bit over here. All right, so that's kind of the plan. So let's go ahead and get the stuff glued down. Okay, and then I'm going to put this down. I'm just going to use my glue stick for this one. Oh, I guess I could have them going either way. I <laughs> didn't realize that. Um, Yeah, I think I want it to fly into the flower. down I like that. Okay, now you have no plan for the pocket. And my cat is meowing outside my door like it is the worst thing in the world that I left him outside. <laughs> like that I left him out, not out, outside, outside, just out of my room. Okay, well, I don't really feel like doing the pocket yet today. So the next thing I wanna work on is the middle. But I think I'll do that in the next video. I think this is a long enough video. I was able to create the cover. Um, definitely going to have to do something with that. Um, but yeah, so I was definitely able to create the cover. I like how the gold looks with the on the outside. So I'm happy with that. 
And yeah, I'm, I'm really excited to work on this and kind of see how it unfolds. So um, I hope that's... All right, so I think that is it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed and I will see you again real soon. Bye for now.